Hey guys, it's Roxy with Roxy's Broadway Breakdown. So I am here today to break down four steps. The Suzy Q, the Broadway Bomber Shay, the Advanced Broadway Bomber Shay, and the good old fashioned plain old Bomber Shay. Now, I know this might be a lot for one video, but I decided to lump them together because sometimes people get confused on all the Bomber Shays and terms that can sometimes get interchangeable. Um, and that happens in TAP. You know, what you get taught in one studio or in one place, people uh, interchange in another place and then things get confused. I mean, we do that in TAP. What some people's back brush is, is a back spank in another place or a back flap. It happens in TAP. You know, the Alexander is also known as the Shirley Temple or the Broadway. I have a video on that. Check it out. I'll link below. It's also in my TAP playlist check them all out. Um, but anyway, so let me clear up this mystery. I, I hope I can clear up the mystery and the debate in this uh, video today. And uh, then it'll be settled and on a clear day you can see forever. I don't know. That, that was kind of stretching it. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe so. But anyway, let's get to work. All right, let's settle it once and for all. Susie Q, I don't even consider it a tap step. It's really just an old throwback from the vaudevillian days of the 30s. So it's just a little quick step to the side. All these steps travel side to side. So what you want to do, it's across in front and as you step out to the ball of your foot, your heel pushes up. That's all it is. So it's a cross step heel. Cross step heel, cross step heel, cross step heel. Same to the other side. Cross, step on the ball of the foot and push out with the heel. Cross step heel, cross step heel, cross step heel. And the arms usually are clasped for this. That's the style. So cross step heel, cross step heel, or cross step heel, cross step heel. That's the Susie Q. Now, the advanced Suzy Q, I think here's where the confusion comes in. The advanced Suzy Q, or what some people call the Broadway Bomber Shay, is you add a back flap to it. So, as you cross and you step out and your heel comes up, that's where you add a back brush. So, it sounds like that's what happens there. So you step across, as you come out, you add that back brush. And that's the Broadway Bomber Shay, or Advanced Suzy Q. Take your pick, I don't think you're wrong either way. All right, so we're gonna step across, step out, back brush. And you can do some jazz hands here if you want. To the other side, same thing. You're gonna step across, and as you step out, back brush in. Okay, back up, step across, as you step out, back brush. All right, that's that step. Now, for the advanced Broadway Bomber Shay. I also call this the 42nd Street step because it's in the, uh, or the We're in the Money step. Sorry, We're in the Money step from 42nd Street because these, the girls do this on the big dime in the We're in the Money if you've ever seen that number. But instead of starting with the cross stomp step, it's going to start with the fillet. But you still, as the fillet, it has that turnout of the Suzy Q or the Broadway Bomber Shay. So as you flap, you twist and that heel comes out and then you come in with a back brush stomp. So it looks like. All right. So it's flap, back, uh, uh, flap, twist, back brush, stomp. Flap, tw flap, twist, back brush, stomp. Same thing. Where is the money? Okay. To the other 
same thing. Flap twist, you've got to do that twist as you do the flap. That's all one motion, flap twist, flap twist, flap twist. So flap twist, back brush stomp. Flap twist, back brush stomp. Flap twist, back brush stomp. We're in the money. Okay, you can also take that step in a circle. That's how they do it, and we're in the money. So, just for variation, you, you know, get tired of doing these back and forth. All right, so that's the Suzy Q Broadway Bomber Shea and Advanced Broadway Bomber Shea. Now, a true blue traditional Bomber Shea, I think is kind of contrary to the body in tap because in tap most of the time you're on the balls of your feet um rarely do you have a step in tap that the weight goes to your heel but in a bomber shake for a bit of the step your weight is on your heel you, it starts with a stomp spank dig and so for a little bit your weight is on that dig that heel so it's stomp spank dig stomp spank dig stomp spank dig so it's stomp, spank, dig, stomp, spank, dig. Kind of awkward. The hands traditionally are at a diagonal. So stomp, spank, dig. I think it's easier if you bend this knee a little bit and you keep it kind of tight. That's the bomber shea. To this side, it's the same thing. Stomp, spank, dig. And I think if you just practice that motion for a while, kind of keep that ankle loose and you get that spank, dig, spank, dig, spank, dig. Because that's the trickiest part in a bomber shea is that spank, dig, spank, dig, spank, dig. And then you stomp, spank, dig, stomp, spank, dig. Kind of start these out slow. Stomp, spank, dig. Stomp, spank, dig. And then you'll you'll work up to the flow of that. I also think these are easier in flat taps. I notice when I do them in heels, it feels, every time I dig, it feels a little shaky. I feel much more sturdy when I do them in flat taps because I have that bigger heel to really dig into those. All right, so there you have it, your basic Suzy Q, your Broadway Bomber Shea or Advanced Suzy Q, which is just adding the back flap in there or back brush, your Advanced Broadway Bomber Shea or We're in the Money Step, which is starting with the flap, but pushing up on that heel. Or your True Blue Bomber Shea, which is starting with a stomp and then going into a spank dig. Diagonal arms if you want to add those. Okay, I hope that cleared up any mystery you have. Please subscribe to my channel. I hope this helped. Check out all my videos. They don't all have to do with tap, but they do all have to do with musical theater. And keep tapping. Give this a thumbs up if you liked it, and I'll check you out in my next video.